<laughs> it's going rough. It's going rough. Well, you're honest. I appreciate that. Some people come on and say, oh, we're perfect and off camera. They're not feeling so well. No, I feel like a right wanker right now. I feel like this on this period. Uh, certainly a pretty big tour for you guys. How does it uh, not blend together? Um, it does. It does. It does blend together. <laughs> it does. We've, been, we've been on this co-headliner for, um, it's like... Five weeks? Some, we've been on this co-headliner for an amount of time that um, that we were unsure of. See the five days or five weeks. What's the best part about touring? Um, that you remember. Uh, getting drunk. <laughs> I just love it. I, I love that we don't have a day job. Right. We, do, we do have a day job. Not like a desk job. Being though, sexy. Like boring, being sexy. It's t I don't feel sexy right now. I feel <laughs> like I'm about to die. I feel like Fred Durst. Like Fred Durst. So I've got my hat on backwards. Fred it's a Fred Durst kind of day. So your hat on backwards sim simulates uh, Fred Durst inside of you? Yeah. It's going to come out of you tonight. Fred Durst is inside <laughs> of you. <laughs> Are you going to start doing uh So I feel a lawsuit coming on, Mr. Durst. <laughs> uh, talk about your guys' live show. What uh, What do you guys bring that's uh, signature to yourself? Music. Guitars, drums, bass. That, 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 that is generic. What is signature asking Alexandra? Oh, Asking Alexandria's songs. Yes, the songs we do play them. Play. I'm not sure if anyone else plays them. Where did you get them from? Um, <laughs> from our brains. Really? Yeah. I, I bought them. <laughs> On iTunes. Where did we get them from? iTunes. iTunes. Local bands. <laughs> we should beat them up and steal <laughs> their demos. You're not famous now, no? <laughs> so they used to bring on openers and do it around and uh, you stole the songs from them. Exactly. Yep. exactly. Is we it always shenanigans with you guys? Um, when are you serious? I never, I'm really serious. I uh, if we were serious, we'd probably have a normal job. Yeah, serious sucks. That's how, that's how you become in a band, you take life seriously. Exactly. Yeah. It's a cop out. I'm serious on stage. I get all intense and angry. Why do you get angry? And I do this face. Mm, I hate you. Because uh, I like to inspire hate, violence, and bleeding. Really? Yes. Only when he's having sex. <laughs> also disturbing is that uh, is that an English thing? I mean, no, from England. No, I think it's just like an overall dis despising the human race and really enjoying watching them go out there and beat the out of each other. You can't say pressure and difficulty of a sophomore album. No, we started writing it. No, we've, we've, we've written it. it. We've released it. It's true. We've just started it's writing it though. We've, we've only just started writing it. We released it a few months ago, but we've just started writing it. So. Yeah. Hmm. Well, at least you can steal some songs if you can't come up with anything creative yeah. on your own. But what it, I mean, what is it? Why is there a pressure on that second album? Because you guys make it on the first one, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think there was any pressure. There was some. Well, we, we just did what we wanted to do, basically, um, rather than try and conform with what was supposed to be. Asking Alexandria, we did what we felt like was asking Alexandria at that point in time, which is, I guess, why we didn't feel too much pressure. What did you feel like you were supposed to do? Whatever the f we wanted to. No, no, no. Stop that's saying what that word. Sorry. That's what you're doing. But we what what were people telling you you were supposed to do? You said that you were supposed to do Rewriting so. our first record because it did so well. Yeah. So you want to go a different direction? Oh, yeah, of course. I, I don't want to release the same album twice. If someone likes that album so much, buy it twice. I'm not going to write it and record it twice. Why do fans resonate with you guys? Because we're good in bed. Okay, and the ones who don't experience that? They all do. <laughs> the ones who don't experience that clearly aren't our fans. <laughs> okay, why musically? Because we're good in bed. Yeah, because we're really, cause we're really, really <laughs> um, good. Uh -huh. People like really good music. You've heard the Beatles. I have heard the Beatles. Pretty similar. So um, yeah, everyone likes no. the Beatles. <laughs> similar caliber. You talk like them. I think that's probably where we draw the line. Well, they're from Liverpool. I'm from London. They used to do a lot of drugs. We used to do a lot of drugs. Used to? Yeah. <laughs> Just do a lot of alcohol now. Yeah, a lot of alcohol. What's alcohol? <laughs> we're straight. Why? Uh, what, what are the tattoos here? What are the, why did they? Why were they significant in your life? Um, because the well, my chest is all about my family, and so it's my neck and the back of my neck. Uh -huh. Um, arm is. My sleeve, which you can't see, is about our first. This is the first song we wrote as a band. And my legs are about where I'm from. Why about your family? What uh, what was significant to you on their family? 
Hold just on. so that is it family. kind of sim symbolic that they're with you when you're not with them? Because you're gone a lot, right? Exactly. I mean, there's, there's um, swallows on my chest. Because that's <laughs> <laughs> so, so, swallows travel a lot and uh, go home at the end of every year. That's pretty much what I do. So what's next for you guys? Um, right going on tour of Avenged Sevenfold, yeah. writing a new album. Writing a new album right now, which is cool. I'm enjoying that. Danny, is that difficult for you to write an album and be working on a rock album at the same time? Uh, not really. Um, how do you have time for that? I don't know. Literally, how do you have time I, for that? I don't, I don't know. Somehow I kind of, it just happens. And I've also got like my clothing line and stuff, which also adds more in there. I just never stop working. People just see me as this drunk, but I'm a drunk that works. I'm so a functional drunk. you're a functioning drunk. alcoholic. Yes, I'm a functioning alcoholic. I don't understand how you tour and have time for all that stuff. How do you guys do that? How do you write an album? Do you write in the bus? Yeah. And you, you track it in the bus and all that? No, I track it like between tours when I go home. Okay. I have someone like, I have someone back in LA just kind of track all the music for me and then I go in and lay down the sweet box, like stored some and throw it No, really, do you want to, I mean, do you, are you famous just to be famous or do you want to <coughs> affect some people in a positive way? Um, I want to affect people, be it positive or not, I don't, I am unsure yet. Yeah. If someone can relate to us, no matter how they're relating to us, then we've done a whole job, basically, which is why we're doing it. Right. Whether it be negative or positive, so long as we've left some sort of impact. 